Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of Banjo Tooie. Last episode, we wrapped things up for the time being in the great Hailfire Peaks. I absolutely enjoyed my time there. It's a great song. I've been listening to it a lot lately, actually. The theme of it, that is. This episode, we're back at Jiggy Wiggy's doing another broken puzzle to figure out what the next location is. Uh, is this the last one? It might actually be the last one. I don't remember properly, but... Either which way, I appreciate Jiggy Wiggy's help. Like, in between, we're doing the stages, we're going collecting the Jiggies, doing all this. This guy is scrambling up pictures, <laughs> cutting them up, making the jigsaw puzzles for us. And it's very kind of him, but I, I do wish that he would put the, the photos on there. Because this is starting to get markedly more difficult. Uh, if this is, in fact, the last one then no, no harm, no foul, because I think that I'll be able to uh, to manage here, given that we have just over a minute left, and we're all well, about 60% done with this puzzle. So, either which way, McJiggy Wiggy, I appreciate your, your crafting efforts, but man, it's been tough. Especially when you get to this part, right? Like, the edges are the easiest. Mm, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> just hammer it in there, Banjo. It's the same shape, gosh darn it. It'll fit, it'll fit. We got two more. Two more spots. Well, there's only one other place it could go. There we go, and we've done it. We have completed the puzzle. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 8, so now the great one will show you the way. <laughs> yeah, the great one, yes! Oh, goodness me! Oh. You know, J Jiggy Wiggy's an interesting fellow. I haven't actually drawn enough attention to this. His head, his face is a Jiggy. Like, has he always been like that? Or somewhere in his, like, religious fanaticism altered his appearance to look like that of a sacred relic? Because that'd be kind of horrifying, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Uh, where is this taking us? This is sending us all the way back over... Ah, uh, yes, through the crack and out to uh, cloud, cloud something. Shoot, I don't think I'm gonna be able to remember it before it shows me. This is, I think, the final stage. Darn, darn near 100% sure it's the final stage. The bubble. The cloud bubble village. The bubble land of cloud dumb, the cloudy bubbles. B bubbles. You are indeed the chosen one. You also have enough Jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's challenge nine. Okay, so there, there, there is yet more. Should we do it? No, we're gonna, we're gonna go to this stage. I thought that, for some reason, I thought that this next stage was the final stage. Clearly, that's not the case. Eh, not the case. There's yet one more, and we are barely eligible. To, uh, to investigate it. I've mentioned this a few times before. I believe that the required amount of Jiggies to, to beat the game is 70. So we're about 12 away from that. And if there's two more stages, then we're in good friggin' shape, man. Because I've been trying to get uh, six, seven, eight Jiggies per stage. And maintaining that pace will get us to 70. So hot dog. Oh no, LP gonna do the thing right up there because me and the the jiggies in the nose, man. It's good stuff here. Into the bubble. The bubble floats up, goodness gracious. Hopefully that doesn't pop. <laughs> oh my goodness, that'd be horrifying. Poor Banjo would splatter all over the place. I mean, I guess he does have a bird in his backpack. Look how high we are. Cloud Cuckoo Land. That's right, that's right. I knew that. Goodness gracious, I don't have a whole lot of memories of this. What are we working with here? A lot of platforming, it looks like. What is that? Like a giant brick of cheese. Okay, well, it looks like there's a lot of neat stuff to investigate. I want to touch this. I don't know what this is, but I... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, it jiggles. I like that. It doesn't seem like it's good for anything else. But it jiggles and it makes a doof noise. Let's grab this while we can and go speak to... What is that, an aardvark? An exercising mammal. A fancy little physical exercise for a Uh, not really. Yes, you do, Banjo. <laughs> right, I, I'm Mr. Fit, and I'm really fit. I am, I got like 27% body fat. So fit and fat that you can beat me in three events. I'll give you my fitness gold medal. Well, that's nice. 
Lucky is it? Actually, well, as you can probably see, even the one is the high jump. The bar is set at my best height. All you need to do is jump over it to win. I didn't even see you do this though, man. You you did this? You jumped? You jumped that? What are you, a flea? There's no way. Look at you. You're sporting some extra weight, my man. I don't believe you, but can we... I was hoping we could like trampoline this, like build up some some momentum, but it doesn't actually seem like that's the case. Okay. Well, I need to learn your techniques because I am, you know, pretty hefty myself. Clearly too hefty to to pass your test. We'll, we'll be back for that. Assuredly, there is something we need. There's a garbage pail. Look at that. There's all sorts of nifty things here. And a pulsating flower. What do you want? Oh, you want to eat us and spit us across the way. <laughs> Whee! Oh, that's what these are. These are little landing spots. I see. And that probably sends us back. What is this, though? Oh, we gotta do the the drill. Really? An empty honeycomb, just like that. Well, that's nice and rewarding. Some feathers. This is It's like an advent calendar. My god, but instead of like chocolates or candies or little treats you get a strange looking seed <laughs> some feathers and eggs Is it edible? oh we we got the jumps what, what do we need to jump for jump right here uh, it wasn't what we needed it's fine i didn't actually mean to grab those anyways i'm just trying to bust open all these little pits that one had nothing a mumbo's got an icy looking skull up there another no that's that's a whole one and it, oh, one more. The final opening gifts us another seed thing. Interesting. Uh, so should we go, let's go inside first. I, there, there's some of the natives are over there. I don't really want to interrupt whatever they're messing with. Sometimes they can get a little testy when you, when you sneak up on them. They, they can get testy even when you don't sneak up on them. Even if they see you from a distance, they're like, hey, <laughs> it's Banjo. I want to kill him. We got an egg. We got an egg to nest upon. That looks like Terry's egg. Did we not already get all of Terry's eggs? I feel like, I don't know, I hear the cries of a Jinjo, but I don't. Oh, 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 hey. Jimmy Jam Jars. Really, we gotta, what, we gotta split up and be Banjo and sack pack our way in there? Fascinating. Okay, well, we're in here now. Uh, there's two reasons to split up then. One for Banjo there and then one for Kazooie right here. I'd really like to, to get a Jiggy early and often. I was hoping and thinking that we could compete in that athletic conference uh, with that, with that. Whoa, hello, you made a cash register noise. You are not money. You're not money either. Goodness gracious, everything wants to kill you. What is this, Australia? Get up. And I guess we can, there's more jumpy stuff. There's a lot of boots. Why is there, there's boots so close to, no, those are different. These are the sucker ones, the, the claw clamber boots. And here are the split up pads that we crave. Excellent. Will we even be able to get over there as Banjo though? Um, Like now that I'm seeing it, that looks kind of high. That looks way high. Maybe we can get friggin' assault. This dude's got a sausage in his hand. What is that? <laughs> He's holding a weenie. He's holding a weenie. I'm gonna hit you with my backpack. Yeah, that's right. You come out of the ground. You got a candy cane. Candy canes and weenies. Never before would I ever th think of the... A hey, buddy. He slapped him with his sugar. Oh, my God. This is a dangerous place. He's got a flower. Very interesting uh, items that you all have here. I, I appreciate your uh, desire to share them with me, but I don't really like to examine them that closely. I do, however, like to examine eggs pretty closely. Can we... Yeah, hatch you up, little baby. What what are you? Come out, come out, my whoa! Wow, that's a rare floatus flotium creature, if I'm not mistaken. A, a floatius floatum? It is our child. We have we have hatched it. It doesn't want to come with us. I'm gonna glide Kazooie over here. Maybe Kazooie's short enough to get in here. No, really. Really? Look at the gap! Look at, look at that! Kazooie can like... 
apparently that's not the case. All right, we're going to have to figure something else out there. As for... Okay, great. Uh, so as for now, I'm going to go reunite with my, my banjo friend. I'm going to get assaulted by Sausage Finger. Thank you, buddy. Very nice to see you as well. Uh, so we have a couple of warps here. Let's grab Banjo. Now let's investigate the Floatius. Hello? Floaters can't speak, but it's sure, I'm sure they're lighter than their ability is useful for something. Yes, can we ride you? We do something with, you can peck your eyes out? Okay, well, uh, <laughs> I have to keep that in mind. Uh, ooh, there's a sign over here. Signs are good, signs tell us things. Gosh, darn it, these things are everywhere. My goodness me, this place is an infestation of fingered foes. Have you looked in this pool? Have <laughs> no, no, I have not. What am I? What am I seeing here? A globo? A globy? Come here, my baby. I very, very much like to stuff you in my pockets, so that I might sacrifice you to some purveyor of the dark arts at a later date. Very nice. I mean, we have seen Mumbo and Humba's wigwam off in the distance, so. You're assuredly going to be donated to one of them. I don't know which, though. Not as far as first. Okay, can we get out of the pool? <laughs> I'm struggling to get out of the... Oh, my goodness, I cannot get out of the pool. The pool The pool wants me inside. The pool's got a gravitational pull. My giblets. Okay, uh, there's a, a thing right here. So we'll, we'll swim down under. There's notes as well, so it's kind of a multifaceted approach. The dual benefits. One benefit is we get to acquire ten more notes. Another benefit, we get to stick our face in this hole. Maybe a useless hole, but it's a hole nonetheless. And all holes deserve spelunking. They all deserve examination. This one, ooh. This is very golden looking. Neat. That got a Kazooie face down there, so we're going to have to split up and come back as just the bird. But will it let us? Yeah, it will, right? It'll let us. I feel like, I don't know, I'm a little hesitant to thinking so because it's a map change. A local? A local craves the grave. What about you? You're a sight for sore eyes, huh? You want to get poked in the eye? And the jiggly eye. What if we... Give you eggs, normal eggs, fire eggs? <coughs> wow. You know, I've had some... My eyes have felt like they've been burning before, but I think that was a little bit more. Ooh. Hmm, no. Okay, we got nothing here. That is not not something we can mess with just yet. That is something that wants to kill us, too. Goodness gracious, we are dying here. You're a bee. Can you give me some honey? Where did they go? They dove into the water. Okay, well, let's go split up again and try and crack this rock. Wait a minute. I don't need to go split up. I have the proper technique here. I just release the bird. The bird! Boom. What does that do? It opens up. Oh, it drains. Oh. Okay, well, that's neat. I don't know that... Where's that water going? <laughs> that That's plummeting straight down... To Earth. Presumably it's going to show us here uh, in short order what we just in Pterodactyl land. Okay. Fills up a pool. Interesting. Oh, the thirsty dinosaur. That's right. Oh, yippee. My pool is full of water. Oh, where did it all come from? Oh, oh God. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, no, oh, oh, taste heavenly! Oh, well, it did come from the clouds, Dippy. Oh, did it? You said it wouldn't just drop from the sky. Oh, just drink it and be happy. No, oh, I am, I am, I am. Do you take my hot take gold tooth in exchange? Do we have to go back? And no, we just get it. He transferred it to us over the wire. He's got our... Uh, our bank account information, the routing number, just direct deposit Jiggy straight to it. Excellent. Super convenient. Now, how do we got to like, backflip out of here? Or is there anything we can... Anything special down here? Any any secrets? Treats for a particular bird and bear combo? No, just, uh, just a gaping little pit there. 
just a great, yep, no, that's fine. I see one. It's good. Now we can just get up and out of here. We've got our first Jiggy in Cloud Cuckoo Land. Uh, honestly, that was kind of easy, which I'm thankful for. And I wonder if the inside of this mountain is going to be completely uh, empty as well. So we do have a flight pad here. Look at that. That. I mean, what, if, if I had never played a Banjo-Kazooie game before and it's just like, you need to get these golden puzzle shapes. They're called Jiggies. You gotta get them, okay? That's that's the only... Hey, buddy! No! <laughs> you gotta get the Jiggies. Well, I would look at that thing and think that's what I need to go to. Someone's in the air! The Venture Jiggy at all costs! Uh... Whoa there, eyeball. Okay. Um... Now... Uh, he's flinging balls at me! Should we shoot him? Is he capable of being killed now? Uh huh. I don't actually know. I might get myself killed. You know what? You know what? I'm out of here, dude. I'm out of here so that I can come back. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that to you. I'm gonna try and spear you. Where are you at? And if we die, we die, and it's fine. But I just. Yeah, we die. Okay. <laughs> Whoops, see you later. We fell to 10,000 feet down to the earth. Yikes. Okay, let's just fly over here to this beautiful vase and see what it is that it's got going on. It looks like we can't actually access it yet. You? No, you're wicked. Okay, see you later. You're very beautiful, though. I want to... Can I come smell you? <laughs> Try saying that to someone you've never met before. You look like you smell nice. And probably react very much uh, in, in line with how that flower acted towards me. Buddy, no. Not necessary. Dude, I'm not even, like, disturbing your hive or anything. I, like, I'm a friend of the bees. But maybe they're wasps. Look at that castle. That looks like Jello. That made me hungry. <laughs> well, I, I, lo I love Jello. Not everyone does. I'm curious. You listening? Do you like Jello? If you like Jello, what's your favorite flavor? I like, honestly, it's like a texture thing for me. I really enjoy all types of jellos. What is this? Is this... Ooh, I see. We can go in the, the roof. We got 20 seconds. Um, all right. I have an idea to make that work, but I'm going to have to double... Can we... Okay. Okay. I There we go. Got to, got to press it again. Now we got the full timer. We can waste some time doing that. But I'm going to like slide down this. Get there. Oh, this might actually not work out as well as I had hoped. Especially doing it like that. Yeah, we got five seconds left. Six seconds, five seconds, four seconds. No way. Not a chance in heck. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe if we, like, split up and we set Banjo there. But how would Banjo even get up there is my question. Don't touch me. All right. Yeah, so I, mm, we'll, we'll, we'll table that for now. We'll go inside of this uh, entryway and, and see what we can do in here. Presumably, it's going to take us back into like the same central chamber that we were in prior in the episode with the split-up pad and everything. But maybe we'll have access to something else neat. And access to notes. No, we're not even like that much higher up than we were. So we could definitely split up here. Okay. Well, this works. Now I just need to be more patient, I guess. <laughs> and come up that the right way. So we want to wait. Hmm. Hmm. I actually don't think this will work. I actually don't. Can I stuff you in my backpack? Can I just come here? give me that? Yes. Oh. We get. Oh wait. Hold up. Hold up. Release the baby, real quick. Uh, grab the baby. I have an idea. Scoop the child, the Floatius Bodius. Take me across this way so that I can learn a move. There we go. I had half a mind to use this like outside. We're not gonna make it, are we? We are so slow. Four, three. Uh, we barely made it. Goodness gracious. Now, in there. Perfect. Do we have enough notes? <laughs> barely. We got eight hundred and five. 
Please tell me this is for me. Okay, like if this was not for Banjo, I'd be pissed. Sack pack. When faced by danger, jump on top. Now in the backpack, you can hop. Hold button Z and then tap up C. Safely inside is where you'll be. So the sack pack, you say. Is that not what we already had? Now we can jump? Wait, is that something different? Ah, there it is, yes. Th so this is it. The, 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 it can go over top or below. And this is good for what now exactly? Talk to me, jammy boy. What, what am I? The sack pack allows Banjo to hop across dangerous surfaces. Press and hold Z. Yeah, okay. So if we want to walk on something that's like hot, I guess that's the way to go. What does the sign say? Plant a seed, watch it grow. Up the beanstalk, you will go. Well, we got two of those, so we can do that. Can we hop through this? No, we gotta be the little one. Okay, so if it's if it's under our feet, then we're not capable of uh, squeezing through small little openings like that. But if it's on our head, well, you know what that means. We're in friggin' business to move now. Don't touch me, dude. You're making me hungry for a candy cane. Gosh darn it, it is, I mean, it is. About that time. It's still winter. Candy canes are good year round, but they're especially good in the winter. There we go. Oh, hey, I see a Jinjo. I see a Jinjo. Let's get the Jinjo. I know we just reunited, but, you know, get out of here, Kazooie. Go, go do something for us, won't you? You're very, a very capable bird. It's not high enough, is it? Uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. But there is this. This will assuredly... Very good. And that's three of six. For some reason, I thought we had more red. I was almost expecting that to be a uh, jiggy. Hey, look, the water filled back up, or is that a... That's a different one. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's reunite. Let's reunite. No, that's... Wait, what? Yeah, that is a different one. Oh, God! <laughs> Sorry, Kazooie, I wasn't paying attention. I'm looking all over the place trying to figure out what our next move is, and I'm letting you get uh, blunt force trauma bashing your face against the ground there. Ooh, there's a safe. Okay, so we want to go down into that water, but I also want to see what uh, what's in the safe over here. If I mean, if we can actually access it. And then there's also that thing. There's all sorts to do here. And it's nice having already gotten a Jiggy, I don't feel like a whole lot of pressure to find one. Greetings, fleshy ones. Whoa, talking safe. Correct. In Super Stish Deluxe, a four-digit infinite combination reinforced strongbox. But four digits almost gives you 10,000 combinations. Hey, no one leaks you with guy. It's enough up here. Let's have a look inside then. Oh, ho, ho. that may be a problem. I seem to have forgotten my own combination. Perhaps they should have spent a little more on your intelligence chip. I know, sorry, fleshy ones. But if you can find the combination, then I'll gladly open up. Can we just, like, try it? Yeah, there's only 10,000 combinations. Why don't we just, you know, spend 10,000 minutes here? Oh, nope, nope. 10,000 minutes is a lot. Goodness gracious! Slapping me with the flower. Okay, uh, what else is there? There's a switch back there. Nine? Nine eggs? What is that? That's weird. Let's do that. Oh, let's do a backflip first. There we go. Does that mean we have to send nine clockwork? Okay, <laughs> we made it over. We've got nine clockwork eggs. Let's, uh... Release one. You you come through here, little buddy. 17 seconds to go. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to get nine of them over here before they all explode. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, I see. I see. So one of the combinations for the thing. Oh, they're probably all in here then, aren't they? Okay, well that's exciting. That means that there's something we can do here that's going to give us a jiggy. Excuse me, buddy. Please don't. Please refrain. Thank you. No. <laughs> I want the I want the honey. Where the honey? My honey. I'm dying over here. You. Think fast. 
<laughs> Ooh, okay, we're getting a little, a little evil there. There's no need for the evil laugh just yet. All right, we're, dude, that's fine. We, you know, this is what we wanted. It gave us a, uh, a note or, or a handful of notes. It's tough because I don't know where these things are going to pop up. They just come out of the ground like freaking zombies. And then it's like, whoops, you're plummeting. You thought you were up here? No, dude, you're you're going down. In an earlier round, sugar, you're going down, screaming and crying and pissing everywhere. Uh, more. That's an exit. This looks like some. There's shoes. Why do we want running shoes? That's probably for another like athletic challenge with the uh, marsupial from the beginning of the stage. But I'm guessing that all of the button combination things are inside of that. Yeah, look at this. This is a race. If that if that doesn't look like a like a start line, then I'm a monkey's uncle. It's either a start line or like a part of a salt cir circle to ward off sea bears. You can never be too cautious, right? Sea bears will attack anywhere. Is that a mumbo thing? It is. Okay, so it looks like this is not something for us right now. We need to wait for our our friend to come or for the sea bears to invade and then we'll take advantage of that white line. As for now, I guess we're going to continue to poke around the uh, central chamber here, uh, the inside of this mountain. The central cavern. Wow, look at that. Pretty close. I was probably influenced by that in some fashion. And you stop it, Mr. Sausage. All right. It's very much uncalled for. Can we grab? No, no can grab. We can bash our face against the ground. <laughs> oh, man. Someone's going to have to take Banjo and Kazooie to a doctor after this. Like, they freaking need it after being in my care for this long. So if we get the claw clamber boots, we can go up here. There's a th an alcove up there. I guess that's the I guess that's the direction we want to go. Uh, where where did boots at? Boots are on the exact opposite side. Wow, this no 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 dude. Gosh darn it! All right, there's our boots. Our sh oh, yes, let's get assaulted. We are gonna die here probably more times than any other stage. If this first uh, exploration is indicative of that or of how it's going to go. We're running out of time already. We're running out of time. Oh, man, that was close. And it didn't actually, well, it took us to this. I was hoping that it would take us to another, like, combination thing, but apparently not. Maybe the combinations aren't exclusive to the cavern itself? Didn't seem like we had no, ooh, another little roosty thing. And a couple little jellies. Delicious. So that's going to hatch us another little baby that we can float over there with, but... And there's this. And there's Mumbo. Hi, Mumbo. And a flight pad. Okay, so we got some more things. What is that? Snake way? Goku's up there running. Uh, okay, well, we're getting kind of sidetracked here, but nothing is super concrete in the way of, uh, like, immediately obvious rewards. So we're going to take this flight pad up to Snake Way just to see what it is. Uh, it doesn't actually look like anything important. Uh, it looks like another race thing. There was a, uh, another, another white line just like there is down there to our right. So let's go to Garbage Land. Uh, this is another thing that's huge and obviously housing a Jiggy, right? And look at this. This dude is guarding a honeycomb for me. Hello. It is I, Banjo. This is mine. Thank you. See you later. We have 13 of them, which is cool because that means undoubtedly we'll be able to, uh, to act. Really? That hurt? Really? We'll be able to redeem those for another thing here soon. I should probably have done that before coming here. No switch. Oh, just a little hole. Little hole for Banjo. Okay. So we have to come back here as Banjo? Or what is this? This is... Kazoo we have to come here as each of them. Okay. A lot of splitting up in Cloud Cuckoo Land, it would seem. At least thus far, it seems to be a lot of signs for that. So this bulb launches us a million feet away. Look at that. 
all the way back to Mumbo. Now, hopefully, we're going to come in this crack, and there's going to be a split-up pad. That would be so very helpful. I, I think that... Mm, yeah, no, there's not. But there is one I got... Dude, they are really, really wicked, these little devils. I am sick of them already. Uh, that... Nope, that's not the one we want. We want to go over here. Because I'm trying to get to the split-up. Don't touch me with your flower. Don't touch me with your flower. My goodness gracious. Can we backflip up here? Barely. Now we can go up and split up and we probably want to take Kazooie out first so that she can hatch that little demon. And then Banjo will be able to, uh, to capture it and take it on its merry way, presumably over to the garbage thing, but I don't actually know. Let's swap out real quick. What was the one that we just came in from? Is it... Is this one? Is this the crack that leads us to the shaman? I sure hope it is. Because that's the one that has the, uh... The fly pad, man. I need I need the fly pad to fly over to garbage land so I can press the button outside of the garbage train. The garbage train? <laughs> the garbage train and garbage can. Yes, perfect. So, what was that noise? Did you hear that? It was like a spring. It made me sweat a little bit, like some sort of... Something's coming up and attacking me. Okay, so I'm guessing we press this switch and that door opens, so maybe we don't need Banjo at all? Because there's not even, like, uh, the little fuzzy things that would let us transform back into Banjo or send our character or our person back over to Banjo to control him. So we're doing it live. Are you evil? You are. Get out of here. Oh, God, you're going to kill me. No, I've got one friggin' honeycomb left, man. Oh, there's some honeycombs. Thank freaking God. On top of this, what, can of beans? Mmm, cola. Delicious. And what is this thing? Let's look, let's look at these products real quick. What are they, what sort of snacks? Snacky fatty chocks. And an evil ginger. You guys are just all over here. You guys love the snacks, don't you? No, you're a good guy? Or am I just missing? I mean, I missed that time. Mm. No, that was direct, so okay. Jolly's Juice. Sounds kind of gross. Milky Milky. Sour Milk. High Fat. Low in Calcium. Okay, well that doesn't sound appealing either. Um, and then this one. Salted Snack Treats with Extra Salty Goodness. It sounds like most snacks. Alright, buddy, who are you? Visitor, and Garfo doesn't go to many visitors in his trash can. I'm not surprised, it stinks. Oh, I prefer to think of it as an acquired aroma. Perhaps you can help me. I'm facing eviction from my trash can by the health and hygiene department unless I clean the place up. Shall I tell you about the problem? Yeah, please, expand, Mr. Guff Beans. It's these filthy germs that live in here. I've been told to get rid of 50 points worth. Getting a red germ scores one. Green two, blue three, huh? Oh my goodness, it's like I've done this. Will you give it? I would love to give it a try. Just run around and smack them. You've got 60 seconds to kill 50 points worth of germs. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Looks like I do. Run around and smack. Uh, I should probably prioritize the blue there. I saw a green. Perfect. There's a, there was a blue. It's a red now. Blue! Gosh darn it. Almost missed you. Almost missed you. And green. Uh, this is... I don't know if I have the right strategy here. <laughs> it's just like, hey, go! Start swinging your tail feathers. And I'm thinking, all right, I'm just going to go in a circle. I mean, I'm up to half my time, half points too. So it's pacing out relatively properly but I, I don't know I'm kind of up against time a little bit with 20 seconds left get this blue one I'll feel a lot better if I can get a few more blue ones 42 we need eight more points in 14 seconds there's six points eight points got it very nice and just because Kazooie's a show off she's gonna get 60 something points 64 oh we'll stop there 64 that's great 
Great, you killed 64 points worth. I get to keep my lovely trash can and you get to keep this. <laughs> oh, it's a jiggy. Delightful. We now have two jiggies in Cloud Cuckoo Land, which is honestly pretty free. Where'd it go? Wait, where, where did it go? There it is. Uh, two jiggies, though, in Cloud Cuckoo Land. Fancy trying for a new gem best score? Nope. Not even a little bit, man. Thank you. See you later. Tell all your friends they're welcome to visit. Oh, He's lonely. You'd probably get more visitors if you didn't have decaying friggin' fish for a sofa. Like, what is that, man? Anyways, though, two jiggies in Cloud Cuckoo Land is pretty freaking solid, you know, for doing this blind. I feel pretty, pretty good about myself in that regard. And traditionally, when I get to a stage, I like to take an episode or two uh, to explore. Of course, I still, you know, try to get at least one jiggy per episode, but usually, uh, yeah, usually there's a mostly exploration episode, and that has been the case here today. We just also got two jiggies as well. Oh, and look, another eyeball. Hello, buddy. I'm gonna go down here because I don't know what to do with you just yet. You're gonna, you're gonna squirt your eye stuff at me. That's gross. That's fine. You do it if you want, but, <laughs> but I don't want nothing to do with that, man. I really don't. I just want to continue the exploration. In fact, we're going to continue the exploration. Goodness, we're also going to get assaulted next time. Oh, buddy, please. Excuse me. Thank you. So thank you so very much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, consider subscribing, liking the video, commenting, disliking the video if you didn't like it, sharing it, whatever. There's lots of buttons you could press them. It'd be great. I'd greatly appreciate it. Either which way, though, I am just thankful you were here, and I hope that you enjoyed yourself. So with that said, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.